What's going on guys? It's Omni Ark and today I'm going to be bringing you a brand new video doing something that I've never done before on this channel and we're going to be doing some wine tastings. What was that? What do you mean? What do you mean wine's not in the budget? Okay, so what are we doing? What? What's in the fridge? Are you fucking kidding me? Dude, I know we're in college, but we don't have to fucking live like we're... Okay, okay, alright, yeah, 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 yep, yep, yeah, sure, what? See you later. Change of plans, you guys. We're actually going to be doing a tasting of energy drinks. Yeah, I know, I know. This is not uh, conventional. This is not something people normally do. But you know what? It's the only thing in our... It's a fun new creative video that I can bring you guys. So anyway, if we're going to do something like this, you know, I think I should jump into something a little bit more uh, formal, something you might be actually wearing out when drinking something like this, you know. Uh, so let's just uh, use the power of editing to jump right into it. So three, two, one. Fuck. Th three shits fuck the whole outfit god damn it what do we have no effects budget either what the fuck okay jesus christ there we go okay so like i said you know you're out to an you're at a nice restaurant or whatever and you order some uh some energy drinks right and you want to see what they would taste like so i gathered a couple of energy drinks here for you guys today and uh, we're going to be doing some taste testings for them so first off we're going to start with the uh the king i guess you would say the, the daddy of of uh energy drinks so let's just uh Let's pop this open right and of course you know you're going to be drinking it out of a relatively nice glass definitely not a glass that i got for a dollar at target um so you know gotta just pour it in there uh definitely get that sound effect you know i know i know you like that uh, we're just doing a little tasting so just a little bit today so first you want to get the aromas it just smells like sugar and poison and that's really what you're going for um like i said this is like the best of the energy drinks red bull uh so this is going to be the, you know, the top, the top of the line, you know, this might not even be in your budget, but I just figured I would cover it here for the video. It's got a, it's got a very crisp, natural smell, but in a way where like, you know, you walk outside maybe in Brooklyn or Manhattan and you think, wow, you know, it smells like pollution. You know, that's kind of what you get here when you first crack open a Red Bull. So let's take our first sip and see what it's going to taste like. Now, again, you want to make sure you, you inhale and you smell the, the drink um, while you take a sip. You want to switch it around in your mouth a little bit. Make sure the flavor coats your entire mouth. Definitely, you know, some first uh, impressions that I'm getting here are notes of dying flowers. It's just, I get that feeling, you know, it's just, oh, it's like they definitely threw a couple of dead flowers in there. That's really something that is prominent in the flavor. I think the, the middle notes, you know, the most bold uh, flavors that you're getting with the most punch in there is definitely the taurine that you see on the can here. I don't know if you can read that, but it does say with taurine. What it should say is taurine with water and carbonation because it's mainly taurine. That's really what you're going to be uh, tasting when you first put this into your gullet. Uh, again, let's just take a look here at the color of the uh, regular standard Red Bull. Definitely looks like a dehydrated man's piss, which I think, you know, adds to the experience a little bit you know that's definitely a very dark unhealthy really an unhealthy color for urine so that's really I think what they were going for when they first developed uh, the you know the Red Bull formula it almost smells and, and tastes a little bit like yeah definitely like some like some noxious bubblegum type of flavor that's really something that you know my brain immediately triggered it was like oh but is it bubblegum i'm not entirely entirely sure then i came to the conclusion again with the whole chemical toxin sort of mashup i think that's you know another thing that they were they had in mind they were like oh we like the flavor of bubblegum but that's really cliche let's try and mix it in with some you know maybe some things that are just really bad for you <coughs> so our next contender here is Monster. This is another very popular brand of energy drink that you might see when you're out to dinner, maybe at a four or five star restaurant, something along those lines. So let's pop this open. This uh, has a different color scheme. This is going for black and uh, green. Green is, again, most associated with poisons and things along those lines, uh, but we're going to stray away from that for a little bit because this does have a completely different taste. So let's pop this open, see if it is green, who knows. Ooh, yeah, that's a definitely a different smell, for better or for worse. So, here we go. Okay, I think, again, they were going for the urine color. Definitely the exact same color or very similar uh, to it. The, the, the notes that I'm getting off of the smell right away remind me of, like, a headache. You know, if you've been in a room filled with, you know, new paint or something like that, uh, you definitely get that kind of, like, front brain headache where it's just really obnoxious. I think if I were in a room just filled with open cans of Red Bull, I'd probably get that same sort of feeling. And I think a little bit of sweat, too. I think there's a little bit of sweat mixed in with whatever mixture is... is 
is this is let's take a quick sip here get a little uh swish around in my mouth see if i can get any any better flavors Okay, so I know where the sweat comes from now. This definitely this tastes like Godzilla sweat. I was definitely getting notes of just Godzilla's, you know, uh, water secretions coming off of his skin. That's really what this, what it, it feels like. Um, this might actually just be that straight up. I'm not entirely sure. <coughs> <coughs> Wow, that was a legitimate cough. You know, another another thing that comes to mind, another note that I'm getting here when taking a sip is, you know, I get a, a huge, just a picture of scenery, you know, just trees and mountains and running water and all this beautiful wildlife. And then just somebody in a full suit with pesticides just going through and just spraying it all down. I'm definitely getting notes of that. Just a completely covered, beautiful landscape that is just fully saturated with pesticides. That's really what this is, what this is you know, bringing to mind when I when I taste this. You know, it is called Monster, and there have been allegations of um, this being related to the devil. Somehow they get six 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 or some something here with the uh, the cross or something, and it being inverted when you bring the can up. Some sort of Christian bullshit. But either way, this definitely does actually have notes of like uh, satanic semen. I think. I think that's where the name monster actually comes from uh, because you know it is the semen of the devil himself definitely uh, something to keep in mind you know if this is if this is going to fit the mood of your evening or of your nights and you can even ask your date or your partner if they're into devil semen the next contender on the list that we're gonna be talking about is Nas now I know this is a lot less familiar than the previous two and that's because those two have almost all of the market share and all the other ones are just pretty much garbage so these you know now we're really stepping down into the into the economic tier you know the tier that uh, pretty much anyone can afford and for good reason because they're bad I mean this really looks like a dollar store can on it it looks like they spent maybe fifty dollars on somebody to design this entire can for them and I don't like the colors the clash of the you know you got the blue and the orange I mean what is that the, the Mets the New York Mets nobody even likes them so they picked four colors let's pop this open this might be something that you do see on the menu though Ooh, yeah that smells here let me just show you what it looks like okay so now we've got a radioactive urine color here definitely something that would be alarming if it came out of your of your penis uh, or vagina it's even cloudy too this is really bad if you if your urine looks like this 100 click off the video go to a doctor so the immediate smell i'm getting reminds me of if you took like a maybe if you filled a Tropicana factory with C4 and just blew the motherfucker up that's kind of what I'm getting here it's definitely some sort of citrus smell uh, you know notes notes of some sort of citric acid more like it uh, it's probably not any natural flavor it's probably just the acidic portion of whatever it is very weird undertones of body odor I'm not entirely sure it's definitely not me I smell very good right now I mean I I, pro I smell as good as I look so definitely not me an alarmingly similar smell smell to, to body odor so I actually don't want to put this in my mouth but for the sake of the video I'm going to do it oh yeah the first note I'm getting is instant regret that's <coughs> I'm gonna have to take another sip because I was actually just kind of thrown I was thrown off by how bad that was so it almost tastes like Goku took a piss in my Mountain Dew. That's really what it is. It says here, enhanced mental focus and high performance energy. So they're really, you know, uh, trying to push that with the brand. And, I, and, and, you know, obviously it says NOS, which is implying that it's like nitrous oxide out of a vehicle. And I, I would have to agree with them. This definitely almost just tastes straight up like nitrous oxide. I'd be curious to know if you put this in your car. Uh, I feel like it actually would go faster because this definitely doesn't seem like some sort of compound that you should be ingesting but rather something that would go inside of a machine to make it move quicker I mean so they really hit the nail on the head as far as branding and you know flavor and everything this really does feel like a chemical definitely getting notes of a you know the flashes saliva I'm thinking that's what it is you know I think he just moves so fast and if he were to spit in your mouth if he just spit in the back of your mouth <sighs> this is probably what it would taste like you know so I'm, I'm definitely thinking that might actually be what's in here I'm not entirely sure yeah a lot of these words are definitely things that I wouldn't want inside of my body you know like I said this is the uh, the economy version of energy drinks so to speak wow I regret making this video already
And here we are, ladies and gentlemen, we have the last energy drink that we're going to be testing today. Uh, and then I will be reviewing for you. But I just wanted to say really quickly, if you guys could just drop a like on this video, because I'm really not enjoying this. So if you could just leave a like, that would be great. So anyway, this one might come as a surprise to you guys, because you might not even be fully aware that this is on the market. So few people actually drink Rockstar. It's pretty hilarious that they're still in business, but they are. So good job. Good job, little buddy. That is incredible. Rock Rockstar, yeah, I'm guessing that they are going for, you know, the Rockstar heavy metal hardcore, like, yeah, energy of a crowd type of thing. I definitely like the branding of this can. The gold and the black looks very classy, very sleek. Unfortunately, though, you know, this definitely is not one of the top tier energy drinks, and I will get into that. So, you know, again, this might be a preference of your date or whoever you're with. So let's just crack this open and get a few, uh, a taste of what we have here. As always, let's check the color of the uh, energy drink. Okay, so this is, you know, this I would say is, is very similar to the Nas. Uh, maybe a little bit of a middle ground between the other ones and the Nas. Oh my god. It might be a little bit more fluorescent though, so again, definitely an alarm color um i can guarantee you that if you had a black light this would glow in the dark 100 i actually know that for a fact wow you know i made a paint analogy earlier and this actually almost smells like like some sort of mint like a mint mixed with with paint that's actually weird i've never had a rock a rock star before this and i don't want to try this right now wow that smells disgusting i'm i mean it smells great if you are out um definitely give this a try it also almost smells like an older chinese factory you know kind of like they just had like mothballs for 20 years that's definitely something that i'm that i'm feeling right now just from smelling this maybe there may even be mothballs down on the bottom of the can which would be incredible um you know very good very multi multi-use you could save it leave it around the house for mice to be repelled away from or potentially eat and turn into a giant three foot rat that will just beat the shit out of your wife but you know either way um we'll see what it what it tastes like okay so it's definitely like a bubble gum maybe like a double bubble or bubblicious gum but one that you've actually left under the seat of the car for maybe two years or so that's definitely a flavor that i'm feeling right now also burnt rubber surprisingly it smells like maybe uh, a nascar which just really you know holding the brake and the gas pedal at the same time for a solid three minutes and just really tearing up those tires that's kind of what it smells like and, and you know i'm definitely getting notes of that when it uh hits my palate overall this is a very bad energy drink would never would never recommend this if you are on a date Whew. there might be a little bit of cocaine in there too i'm not entirely sure uh, that might be their secret ingredient here in uh, rockstar and if that is the case you're getting great value for your purchase uh, cocaine is very expensive so you know to pay only a, a few dollars or less than two dollars for a can of this uh, to get a little bit of cocaine is very very good but either way, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. And if you did, like I said, make sure you smack that like button because this was a terrible experience. I definitely do regret it, although everything is very hyper-focused right now. You know, I didn't drink the entire can because there's actually going to be a part two. So if you guys want to see part two, again, let's get this video to 10 likes. If we can do that, uh, that would be amazing. It all depends on how well this video does. So make sure you drop a thumbs up. If you actually want to know what my favorite energy drink is, make sure you drop a comment down below asking me or hit me up on Twitter or something like that and you can also tell me what yours is in the comment section below if you really like this video and you'd like to see me do it with other kinds of energy drinks some that maybe I didn't cover in this video also drop that down in the comment section below and I will be responding to all of you guys and if you're new around here make sure you subscribe to my channel I would really really appreciate that that really helps me out a ton and that's pretty much it so thank you so much for watching this has been Omniarch and I will talk to you guys again soon peace